today we were going to uh, going to see the message chunk splitter and message chunk uh, aggregator a message chunk splitter is basically used to divide your message into the multiple parts depending on the message size attribute okay and there is one obvious question what is the difference between normal splitter and the message chunk splitter a normal splitter is basically used to divide the message into multiple parts depending on the mule expression language you have defined Whereas in message chunk splitter, it divides the message into the parts depending on the message size you have defined. Okay. So now we are going to see the demo on that. We have a HTTP uh, listener in the message source region. So we have configured that HTTP listener. We have a message chunk splitter where we have defined the message size uh, equals to 512 bytes. It means like each part of the message should be should not be more than 512 bytes. And finally, all all the parts will be going to save at this file location. So we have an out folder here. Okay. Now I am going to start my application. I am going to save it so it will automatically. I will stop start. Okay. Let me start the application. Okay, now we can see the application has been deployed successfully. Okay, now we will going to use the Postman. So we have a Postman here. So let me change the port. I have used the 8082 port. Okay, so we, we have this long message. So now I am going to send this message. Okay. Now I got the response equals to 200. Okay, let we will go to the studio and we will check what is the output in the out file out folder we have a lot of files like around we have a 10 to 12 files okay and we are going to check the file see this file has been split into the various parts depending on the message and we will check the size of the file also by going into the properties so see the size of the file is 512 bytes so if you check the size of the each and every file will be not more than 1200 512 bytes okay as we have defined the message size equals to 512 bytes in our message splitter chunk. Now we will going to see the message splitter aggregator, message chunk aggregator. Message chunk aggregator, you know, like will aggregate all the parts, okay, which has been divided by message chunk splitter. So what we will do, I will stop my application here again, and I will put uh, one logger after message chunk splitter. Then at the end, I will put the message chunk aggregator. So what will happen? The message chunk uh, splitter. Uh, let me will you know divide the uh, message into the various parts. Then aggregator will aggregate all the parts into a single message again. So what I can do? I will remove the. Uh, I will change the path for the file location. I will make it in. If you can see it here, like refresh it. Let me, uh, here, this is the in folder. I will remove all the files from the out folder. Let me delete. I will use one more file connector. I will place it after uh, logger. So or okay. So let me change the path for that also. What I will do, or I will going to save all the splitted file at the out folder. Okay. Now I will save it again, so it will deploy the application automatically. Yes, I will save it. Let me run again. So now application has been again deployed. Okay, we can check the setting of the message chunk splitter. Okay, then we don't have this all all optional field. So let me again uh, post the same message. I'm going to send. So it's 200. Okay. So let me check what happens in in and out folder. Let me refresh it.
let me check if you want to do it right or wrong please This is new. Let me check the refresh this window. So you can see uh, all the splitted file. We can see it here. Okay, and finally, our, okay, here the output uh, of the message chain splitter the, uh, has been stored to the out folder. You can see all the splitted file, and the, after that, uh, this message chain aggregator aggregate all the file and save it to in folder. So you can see it here. So this is the final output. Aggregated output. So, yeah, thanks for watching demo. And now you know like how you can use the message chunk splitter and message chunk aggregator. Thank you. Thank you.